Uh, good morning. My name is Bill Mullen. I'm agronomist with Sea Consultants and also director of agronomic services. Right now I'm standing in a show block of our different soybean varieties that we have out here at the Warner's Seed Field Day with Seed Consultants. I talked to Ty Higgins and we're just out here just to go ahead and look and see all our year or potential yield of soybeans. One thing I want to tell everybody here is look in the latest corn newsletter. Um, it was came out last night, and in there, there's an article by Dr. Laura Lindsay explaining yield estimates in your soybean fields, all right? Um, and there is a yield worksheet to go in there. So there's a nice process. Take the time to walk in your field. Yes, you're going to have to count so many plants in a foot of row, or for so many feet of row, be it seven and a half, fifteens, or thirties in that. You're going to look at the number of plants, average it out for the number of pods, count the beans in the pod, and then basically the bottom line is it's going to give you an idea of what your yield estimate is going to be. Again, this is just an estimate, but at least gives you an idea of what to look at. Now, one thing I also want to say is, is that look at the varieties of beans right here. This here is a 93.92. It's a 3.9 maturity soybean of ours. And as you can see, that with this variety here, Taller bean, look at the pods up there on it, and it does pod all the way to the bottom. But again, this is a little bit more taller bean, all right? Now, the other thing to look at here is the 93.93s in that, okay? Look how she branched, all right? Look where the pods are starting there. A nice way is about three to four inches off the ground, but look how the pods have filtered all the way down almost and going to the top. Again, it's reverse here, folks but we have better pot formation all the way down, all the way to the tip of that plant, all right? The big difference is both are three nine maturities, but in this case, the taller bean doesn't have the nice pod formation as the shorter bean does. You know, yes, two different varieties, but I'm looking at the height issue because everybody used to say, tall beans make for better yields. Well, I'm here to tell you folks that this year especially, that's a little bit farther from the truth. Our shorter beans are giving us a lot more of better pods out there, the number of pods on the plant. The other thing we have to keep in mind is, is that we had a lot of rain this spring in that. And during our growing conditions, made for a lot taller plants than that. So that's something you have to keep in mind in that, all right? We walked in here and we saw there's a lot of feeding that was going on by grasshoppers, Japanese beetles. I didn't see that much from the aphids, but it's something to think about especially at the stage of the plant, do I need to do something? And I'll be honest with you right now, where we're at for this stage is basically, let's get some rain. And I think we've got the makings of a good crop, but a lot depends on what our environmental growing conditions are gonna be for the next two to three weeks.